What's up, YouTube? This is Birthday Two, and welcome back to that way. I just woke up, so excuse my voice if it's a bit gravelly or, you know, low pitched. I have, you know, morning voice or whatever it's called, whatever the scientific term is. But uh, yeah, we're playing Dead by Daylight today once again. Today I'm playing Freddy, who is my main. I actually haven't played Freddy in a while, just because you know I'm playing Pyramid Head and other killers to grind blood points, use some offerings. I like to save my consumables in this game, so. Uh, if I have a killer that's P3, I'm not going to burn anything on them ever. I have not touched any of these uh, add-ons or offerings. Uh, one thing that's great about Freddy, though, is he doesn't need add-ons at all. His base power is actually really, really strong. Like, seriously, you don't need to run any add-ons whatsoever. I mean, they do help, but his base power is seriously good enough. It's it's pretty great. So, you, you can just ignore these two sections when you're playing Freddy. Uh... But today, I guess we're going to go into a match and kind of analyze what's so good about Freddy. Or, um, you know, see what happens. Uh, for my perks, this is the, my normal setup without I run in Freddy. Save the best for last, Barbecue, Pop, and Sloppy Butcher, which I sometimes replace for Brutal Strength if I'm feeling kind of lazy. Uh, why Brutal Strength over Enduring is because of Dream Snares. You're not going to be swinging through pallets a lot. You'll mainly be stopping people before they get to pallets. If they're ever in a pallet, you can usually... You know, hit. You don't need enduring. You'll usually be able to hit them, uh, but most of the time you're not going to be swinging through pallets, not eating a lot of suns. Uh, if anything, pallets are going to be dropped quickly because um, people are afraid of dream snares in your setups on uh, pallet loops. So that's why I don't take enduring. I took it in one game, didn't get a lot of use from it. I took brutal strength. Uh, it was infinitely more useful because I was breaking down pallets more than eating stuns. And he also, you know, Jelleport has it so that you're kicking gens quite a lot, so it also helps in that department a little bit. Uh, but also Sloppy Butcher because these three perks are spectacular. Uh, map awareness and tracking, gen stopping potential, and I guess this is chasing, but also just a huge time saver. I can't not run save the Western last time in love with this perk. I blame Oddstarva for my addiction. And then Sloppy Butcher just helps because it slows down heals, so... It slows down gens, slows down heals, tells you what everyone is doing on the map, and convenience. Really, really solid build. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go into a match, see how it goes. Hopefully we get some, uh, good survivors so I can show how good Freddy is, and, uh, yeah. Okay, we have two Cheryls, Tap and Fingman. Oh, never mind, Tap's gone. Okay, now we have three Cheryls. All of them look completely different. Okay, now we have four Cheryls. What is this game? All of them look completely different. Oh, never mind. Yeah, okay, so we have four Cheryls. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> it's always Rotten Fields every time I play Freddy. Rotten Fields. Alright, so immediately you start putting snares down. You don't get hindered at all. Basically, you want to put them around the opposite ends of loops, like right here. So it gives them the maximum amount of distance from the pallet to prevent them from getting to it. Just anywhere where there's a choke point on any tile, you're gonna be benefiting from it. There's a Cheryl. Didn't feel the need to run away when she heard my terror radius, so that's good for me. Put one here, why not? One here, let's travel this way. Okay, she threw it. Went this way. And down she goes. Somebody's here. There you are. We still have a snare on this tile. She's probably gonna run into it. Nope. We have one here, though. I don't think there's a way around this one. No. Down she goes. Let's go back to the first person. Okay, free hit. Whoa, that was close. Now she's down. I'll be able to get Cheryl again because she's going for this person. This team's really st not smart. Well, what is this game? Let's hook people now. I'm not trying to slug. They really, really trying to make me slug. You know? <laughs> what was that? I'll bait that. Why not? She's up. Not a big deal. We're not really trying to sweat this game out. There's someone right here. Go 
some snares. Well, the game's over, but I don't want it to be, so I'm going to let this person go save. It's not uh, not a good team. I can tell that already. <laughs> not smart at all. Golly, let's go break this. Give them some time to regroup, I guess. Something, I don't know. Hi. I have eight stacks, I guess I'll hit the possession. She better not farm this person. I always mess these up. I'm probably just gonna accidentally hit her. Yeah. Nice farm. Borrowed time, probably, no, but she was asleep, so no, no borrowed time. Unlucky. Still, we get a power down. Not a big deal. So, I've given them a little bit of a lead. They've all split up now. Hopefully, doing some gens. Now, we need to build up our stacks again. We don't see anyone. Never mind. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> put a snare there so that the person gets a slow vault. Actually, if you put it too close, I'm pretty sure you just get a fast vault anyway, but she'll be slowed after the vault. Or if she tries to go for the window whatsoever. It just gets rid of distance for her. And that was a poor bait on my part. She didn't hit the snare. Rather long chase here. Do have a snare here. Shouldn't run into it. No, the snare's gone. That's one of the first ones I placed, so I probably reused it. Not a big deal. She kind of messed up there pretty hardcore. But because I jelleport, it doesn't matter that I'm on the center of the map. I'm go right to him. Pretty sure they're actually they were on that one. Whatever. Let me just walk to it. They won't expect it from this way. Hi. Yeah, that that worked out. If I went right to them, they would have just ran away. I actually got sneak up on them. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. Hello. Hi. That was pretty silly. Yeah, you can swing onto those uh, boxes there and just hit them. Pretty cool. Surprised how many people don't know about that. It's a pretty huge little thing that killers can do that at least I was aware of pretty immediately. Yep, nice pallet. Now what? So she doesn't want to vault that because there's a snare there. Even though it doesn't really hurt her that much. Down she goes. It's like a sicko version of Hag or something. Because Hag's traps take so long to place. In the grand scheme of things. Whereas Freddy is a trap killer that takes no time at all. How are they all over there? Um, let's go for you. Nice. You should not have tapped that. Alright. This is why Brutal Strength's got a pretty, pretty good perk on him, because I'm not really, um, not really needing Enduring. I'm kicking a lot of pallets. And sure, Enduring would be nice, but it's mainly just Overkill. You really don't need it, because your snare is... Eating pallets is not a huge danger.
And overkill is not necessarily a good thing. Because you only have four perk slots. I'd rather use, you know, my fourth perk for something that's going to help me rather than something that... It's making me better in something that I'm already pretty good at. Alright, right there. Jelliport and barbecue. Give me that map awareness. I'm going to bait that one though, because... I can just jelliport right there anyway. Like so. Might have been a bad call. This person's long gone. Yeah, I didn't know how much gen progression was on that one. If she did not get a lot on it, she might not have been motivated to, you know, stay there and finish it. So, we're going to go back here. She did tap it. Or is she hiding? There you are. Eight stacks to save the rest for last. She goes down in like five seconds. Beautiful. Pallets aren't a safety. Windows aren't a safety. Open area isn't a safety. Going across the map is not a safety. Two people here. Never safe against this guy. What the heck? Ow. Thought I heard footsteps. Just break this. Really not on a time crunch here. I got a huge lead at the start. How did she get over here? Am I just blind? Got a huge lead at the start. By them being stupid and almost losing the game in the first five seconds. This person finds Hatch, then they find it. I'm not gonna sweat out of 4k. Okay. Going in a locker. We're just gonna walk there, I think. There's no quick way there. Should I probably go over there? Since I'm coming from this direction. Ultimately, we don't care about finding her. We want to find the hatch. Because the hatch is our only way to this match. Pretty sure it's not over here. Here it is. Alright. So, now, another great thing about Freddy, you can just trap both these gates. Ooh, actually, these gates are... Oh, God, please don't tell me she's going to be a hero and go to the other gate. Nope. Unlucky. Hi. Well, GG. That was fun. Really not a challenge when you're playing Freddy. Now that the scene was spectacular... They actually did get on the gems one, so uh, once they came down to the wire, but they really did not get much progress because I'd pop and jellyport and barbecue. So the best for last made it so they couldn't get to too many gist loops before they went down. Sorry, Butcher made it so they were spending a lot of time healing and not a lot of time doing what they were supposed to be doing, which actually may have inadvertently helped me at the beginning without me knowing. But yeah, that was ready third best killer in the game. My favorite killer. My main. GG. Well played. And also, get a lot of blood points for playing this killer. That's a perfect game right there. And double pips. Yeah, that was Freddy. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video.